All right, in this video, we're gonna go through how to create an animal in Tinkercad, uh, kind of, I'm gonna create an elephant, but the, the same concept goes because there's a couple tools that you wanna use in Tinkercad, like the scribble tool, the reflection tool, uh, general ways to change colors that really would work for making any type of animal. Um, I chose the elephant just for the sake of it. And I'm gonna break this guy down into a couple different parts. So first, I'm just gonna name it to Mr. E's elephant okay and let's just start with the sphere i think that any head pretty much of any animal you're going to start with some type of sphere or cell all right and now obviously one of the biggest things about the elephant uh notorious things i should say are its ears so i think i can make the ears by combining a couple different cylinders here so if i make two cylinders like this, I think, something like that. And then I'm gonna make a third cylinder that I'm gonna rotate and mash up to kind of give us that notorious elephant style ear. Again, just kind of rotating around I think that's looking kind of like what I want to go for here. Let's see, if we group all this together and kind of flatten it a little bit, maybe change its scale just a bit. Yeah, I think that kind of looks like an elephant ear. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use this rotate tool. See these little black cone shaped arrows just to rotate this around. Maybe lift this up. Let's get this kind of scaled and in the right spot on my elephant. Okay, now what I wanna do is I'm actually going to duplicate this. So I'm gonna hit this duplicate button. So that actually just made a copy right in the exact same spot. I'm gonna drag that copy over to the right. Then I'm gonna use the mirror tool and then I'll be able to reflect it. And now I have my two elephant ears. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now the next tool I'm gonna to use, I'm actually gonna use the scribble tool. So if I drag the scribble out, I'm going to try to draw my elephant trunk here. And the way that the scribble works is you can, like it says, scribble over here to the side and then in the top right corner, you can kind of see what that 3D model is gonna look like. So I'm just going to add some smoothing here. Looks like I kind of left a rough corner. So there we go, that's looking a little bit better. It's still a little rough around here, oops. Undo, undo is your friend if you kind of make a mistake there. Okay. I think that's looking okay. So then I hit this little done button and I have my trunk. Let's go ahead and rotate this trunk around and then rotate it this way. And then again, using this black cone shape arrow just to kind of get this in place. All right, now we're really starting to look like an elephant here. Okay, so now what I want to do is just I'm going to group all this stuff together. And uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do first is I'm going to duplicate what just happened here. I'm going to duplicate my ears. And I want to scale this ear down a little bit because I want to make my ears multicolored. This will make more sense in a moment. So if I if I group my outer ears together, let's make all that gray, and then I'm going to make the inner ear pink like that. And let me just copy this inner ear, bring it over here, reflect it. There we go. It's looking pretty good. Now, ears, uh, I mean eyes, I think these half spheres. Elephants have tiny little black eyes. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab this guy, rotate, rotate again. And let's just kinda get this in place. Oops. Something like that, duplicate. Hold my arrow key just to move it to the left. Mirror. 
and then get it into roughly the same position. All right, that's looking very elephant-like. I don't know how I want to do the mouth yet, so I think I'm going to skip the mouth for now. Now what I want to do is I want to group this whole thing together, and then I'm going to hit solid and then multicolor. So it's grouped, but I can still keep multiple colors. So there it goes. So there's the head of my elephant. I'm going to lift this guy up. Now let's start to work on the body of my elephant. So I'm thinking elephants are kind of tubular, cylinder shaped. I might start with a cylinder here. Let's see how this works out instead of a sphere. So I'm going to start with a cylinder. Obviously elephants are kind of huge and massive, right? So something kind of sort of like that. Flat and maybe a little bit more. Okay. Now I think I need to grab a half sphere and let's drop half sphere right here. Scale this guy to be about the same size as my cylinder. Let's see. Probably would have been easier if I made these at the same time and changed them at the same time, but hey. Okay, it's looking a little weird. Probably pretty good. Let's change my grid here. I'm gonna flatten his butt out. That looks a little bit better. I think I'm just gonna duplicate this and then again mirror it and move it to the front here so I kind of have this rounded cylindrical shape. Let me group these three shapes together, make them the same shade as gray. All right. Uh, I don't actually know what necks elephants have. I don't really know if they have a neck. Their head is just kind of connected sort of like that. Let's open up that scribble tool again, draw ourselves a tail. A nice skinny wispy tail. Something like this. Okay. And then I actually want to create, I think they kind of have like hairs at the end of their tail. So I'm going to grab another scribble function and I'm just going to create like kind of loose hairs here. Something kind of like that. Okay, so this is going to be gray. This, let's just rotate this whole thing around here. Let's flatten these. Kind of combine that together. Something like that. These, I'm going to make dark brown. I think. Oops. Okay, here we go. All right, let's group these. Multicolor. Let's get this guy in position here. It's my elephant's tail. Get the elephant tail is a little bit higher up. Something like that, maybe. It's kind of weird how it's standing. Let's let that fall. How about that? There we go. I think my elephant tail is too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim my elephant tail. To do that, I'm just going to grab a clear box here. And put it right about there and group that with my tail. So now my tail is shorter. And I can lift it a little bit higher and put it with the rest of my elephant body. Something like that. Cool. Looking pretty good. Let me get a little bit skinnier. Much better. Much better. All right. Now let's group all that together. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go, I think I'm just going to use some cylinders here. I'm going to make one leg first, one leg first, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drop in the leg on all the other feet. 
All right, so we're just gonna start with one leg. I actually don't think I wanna use that. If you hear that chewing in the background, by the way, I'm sorry, that's my dog eating his toy. There we go, that's looking a little bit better. Okay, something like that. Looks kinda of like an elephant leg. Let's group that, make that gray. I think we need some type of half sphere at the top, actually. Let's see if we drag this guy. Something like this. This leg is a little bit too wide. It's looking a little bit better. Flatten these guys out a little bit. All right, here we go. So we're gonna group these three shapes, make it gray, and then combine it into my elephant. So there we go, that's looking pretty good. And I think I have to lower my body a little bit. Okay. So here we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna now take this leg. I don't know if we're gonna be able to use the same leg for the back of the elephant. No, that looks pretty good. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these, duplicate this. We're gonna use our reflect tool. And there we go. Drop that in place. Let's group all of this together. Okay. And now the last thing is the mouth. Now the elephant mouth, I'm pretty sure they just kind of have a very small little mouth underneath. They have very long, weird tongues. I don't think I'm gonna draw the tongue. But I think I'll be able to use this shape for the mouth to make it the same light pink as the inside of the ears. Let's see if I can get this just in the right spot. I'm using my arrow keys right now to move this. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna lift it up a little bit. Move it out just a bit. I think I'm gonna flatten it some. Maybe angle it slightly. I think that's gonna be my elephant, just like so. All right, so last step, group all that together, and there we go. So just as a quick recap, big tools, lots of round shapes. So the sphere, the half sphere, lots of rounded shapes help to create more kind of organic looking things like these uh, different elbow joints and whatever it might be, and the eyes and all that. Um, being able to use the multicolor checkbox, huge. The scribble tool, super handy. And of course, the duplicate icon as well as the mirror icon uh, allow you to create symmetry across a shape.